Look, you know how the pagan chit chat goes. I like R's and V's and O's. I don't really play no tic tac toe. Been with chubs through highs and lows. We seen man last night, they froze. Wasn't no cameras, wasn't no pose. Just like that one. What's up, YouTube? It's Splash. <sighs> Next, back with another video. And in today's video, oh my gosh, I can't get a good angle. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to rip up twice as fast in NBA 2K21. Alright, so if you guys don't have uh, next gen, um, it is kind of hard to rep up in 2K21. Probably the hardest has ever been, let's say early on, like to become an all star, it's probably been the hardest ever. So, um, first of all, let's talk about how I'm sitting down. Look how cool of a feature feature that is. You can sit down on benches. So, um, to do that, all you want to do is hold um, my fault, my mic fail, but you just want to hold X on Xbox and then hold square on um, PlayStation 5. You can even like sit in the middle of the street. Like look, hold up. Or take a knee. If you're a big man, you're taking like you get different animations on um, based on how tall you are. But let's get back into the rep. All right. So let's just pop a squat right here. So currently, right now, y'all, I am a pro one, and I know y'all are like, I'm not taking rep tips from a pro one. Yes, you are. Today you are. Okay. Because a pro one is basically an all star one. This bar moves super slow. All right. Now, if I had people to run with consistently, I would probably be a pro two. Um, but I obviously don't, so boohoo, yeah, crap. Oh well, but I'm halfway to pro two right now, so I'm gonna tell you guys the basic tips on how, and then this one secret that a lot of people don't know. So let's get into the basic stuff that's obvious and that you guys should know. But if you don't know, I'm gonna tell you. So first thing first is you want double rep, times two rep. Um, you go, your bar is gonna move no matter what you do. Okay. So times two rep. How do I have this times two rep? Well, I have the hundred dollar edition for next gen, okay? So I have I bought the um Mamba Forever edition for next gen, not current gen, for next gen. So I got 72 hours of double rep. Now, here's something important for this 72 hours, it does not start when you start playing a game, it starts when the game releases. So let's say if you get y'all see the timer says one day and 19 hours, let's say you don't have an Xbox. One X Series X yet, right? Okay, let's say you get it tomorrow. You will only have 19 hours out of your 72 hours left, okay? Because the 72 hours starts when the game first drops. It doesn't start when you first walk into the park, sadly, but oh well. At least that's what I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it works because I'm, I'm probably like 90% sure that's how it works. If that's not how it works, somebody correct me down in the comment section below. But another thing, which is probably the most important thing is you need a center. If you want to rep up fast, you need a center. Prefer, oh my gosh, preferably, preferably an inside center. I'm like that was like, how come I couldn't say that? Preferably an inside center. So y'all see right now I have a paint beast. Um, this build is not the best build, but it is the best build for rep grinding. Now, right here, my close shot, you don't want your close shot at a 25 and i'll tell you guys in the next video i'm probably drop later on today um i'm gonna give you guys some tips but this is basically it other than the close shot this build is basically good um nothing crazy nothing demigodish just an inside center now why would you need an inside center to rep up fast i thought the meta was last year was throwing lives and guard got the guards got the most rep last year well the meta changed back to 2k 17 in 16 days so instead of going by my points, yes, they still have my points in the game to progress your character, right? But the thing is, they it goes off teammate grade. Rep goes off teammate grade. So the higher your teammate grade, the more rep you would get that game. So centers get more rep because it's easy to set a screen and get screen assist and like get um good set good screen and that moves your grade up a lot and like it, it like good passes. All right, so if you're inside center, you don't have to do too much. Just set good screens, you get like an A every game, and you'll move twice as fast as the guard you're playing with. The center will always move faster than the guard this year. Um, lobs is not the meta. I mean, you guys can try to throw lobs, so the guard can try to like get an A plus, but lobs are not the meta. It's all on um, grades. So you have you have your double rep, you have your center right now. Here is the secret that a lot of people don't know. Now, 2K did tell us that if you play in your own park, you will get more red. But it is such a significant difference. It is almost ridiculous. So 
I'm going to cut to the clip. Um, I'm going to go ahead and like transition into the clip. So I'm going to show you guys. And you guys are going to be like, wow. Like, I'm going to just get into it. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, I am back. Sorry about the quality. I need a new Elgato. My stuff is recording in 720. I need I need that 4K Elgato. But the quality, sorry about the low quality. But um, let me tell you guys. So the secret is really not a secret. If you guys actually read like the um, the forum post, like but I know a lot of you guys don't read it. So that's why I come to videos like this. They said you would get more rep for playing your own affiliation, and they were not lying. And you get a significant amount more, like I said. So I am a south side viper, and as I can see, I'm playing on the south side viper court. So look right here. Let me just play the clip for you guys. Two game win streak. As you guys look at the bottom, I have an A minus teammate grade. And let me fast forward. Okay, so y'all see this right here? I'm at 27.4%. Okay, I'm a pro one. I'm at 27.4. Now remember, I'm playing center. I have an A minus, and I have the double rep. And now I'm playing in my own affiliation. So what I mean by playing in your own affiliation is playing at your home court. Okay, very self-explanatory. So look how I'm at 27.4. And I go up to 30.3. I almost go up 3%. Now, a lot of people that have current region will be like, what? what? Only 3% on Pro 1? You wouldn't understand unless you have next gen. And I hate talking like that. Like, I'm not trying to say, cut, dumb it down for you guys. But you wouldn't understand until you have next gen. And I'm just saying that as a fact. Because this bar moves slow, okay? My guard probably gets 1% a game. Like, 0.9% a game. 1.9% a game. Like, it's... And listen... He's a guard, and he's not from South City Vipers, so he's definitely not getting no rep. So let's talk about what, how much rep would you get if you went into a different affiliation? Well, I have the answer to that right here, okay? So me and my teammate went to um, Northside Knights. Now, I know you guys will ask, why would you go to Northside Knights if you get more rep in South Vipers? Well, the problem with uh, Next Gen right now is a lot of people don't have it, and a lot of people are stuck in Rookieville, okay? So all the parks are dry, so you have to bounce from park to park to um, find a game. So there were some games at um, Northside Night, so we went there. Like you just have to bounce from park to park looking and just like run around the park with your skateboard looking for a game. It's kind of crazy. That's why I, I can't wait till like a month from now when everybody's out of Rookieville. And if you don't know what Rookieville is, I will make a video on that later. But out of Rookieville and um, and what am I trying to say? And have next gen because a lot of people don't have next gen either but as you guys can see right here let me go ahead and skip to the end of this game um so this game right here i have a b plus teammate grade which is right below a minus so i didn't have a that high of a teammate grade but look how much rep i'm gonna get look at this look how atrocious this is so look I start on 32%, right? So I'm on 32% and I go up to 33.1. So I go up 1.1%. I go up from going up 2.9% to 1.1. This is a huge difference. I probably would've went up 1.2 with an A minus. So just put that into effect. But 2.9 to 1.1, it's literally, if you play at your own affiliation, it's double the rep, okay? Excuse me, it's double the rep. So play at your own affiliation if you can. If you can't, I don't know what to tell you guys. If you're trying to find games, um, then just uh, just run around the park like we did and go to Northside Knights or the Beast of the East. Like Northside Knights is kind of popping though because DF is there, everybody's there right now. But hopefully it evens out and these parks get filled up because the average person in a park is so ridiculous. Like let me show you guys the average person in a park. So right here I'm back on my game it's look 17 people in this park so there's 17 people now it's not the whole world like you can see how many people in the world it won't tell you the exact number but you can see there's more than 17 people in the world like in the sit not the world the city like that's more than 17 of course but in a viper section right now there's only 14 people and there are no games playing no games 
So hopefully this gets fixed when people get out of that crazy rookieville and <laughs> get next gen consoles when they restock. But it's your boy Splash next. Like, subscribe, comment. I got another banger video dropping later today, so stay tuned. But I'm out.